Lexus made their somewhat insipid, yet still very good RX even better. I'm Chris, Model Academics, and today we're going to take a look at this totally redesigned 2023 Lexus RX 350 Luxury. If you didn't know, insipid means unexciting, basic, or I guess vanilla would sum it up. And while that might sound harsh for something as unoffending as the RX, lots of people like vanilla. But isn't Rocky Road more exciting? Residing in the middle of six trims is this totally redesigned 2023 Copper Crest Lexus RX 350 Luxury. Standard features include LED daytime running lights, LED fog lights, and LED tail lamps, roof rails, 21 inch alloy wheels wrapped in 235 50 series Goodyear Eagle Touring all season tires, and power folding outside mirrors with turn indicators. The interior showcases a wooden leather trim steering wheel, power adjustable semi aniline leather trimmed front seats, multi zone climate control with auto recirculation mode, heated and ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel. Lexus memory system for driver's seat, steering wheel, and outer mirrors, wireless charger, head-up display, ultra suede door trim, thematic ambient lighting, Lexus interface with 14-inch touchscreen display, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, remote connect, 4G Wi-Fi hotspot, intelligent assistant. How can I help you? Sirius XM three-month platinum trial, rear door sunshades, plenty of USB charge ports, hill hold, electronic parking brake, paddle shifters, drive modes, digital latch, and keyless entry with push button start. Safety features include Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0 that includes lane tracing assist, road sign assist, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, all-speed dynamic radar cruise control with curve speed management, lane departure alert with steering assist, and intelligent high beam headlamps as well as 10 airbags, intuitive parking assist with auto braking, safe exit assist, rear seat reminder, front cross traffic alert, proactive driving assist, blind spot monitor, and rear cross traffic alert. Now buckle up for the options because there are quite a few, including the cold area package that adds windshield wiper de-icer for $100, there's a digital rear view mirror for $200, power rear seats for $550, heated and ventilated rear seats for $680, Premium triple beam LED headlamps for $1,565. Power opening panorama glass moonroof for $500. Mark Levinson surround sound audio system for $1,160. Power rear door with kick sensor for $150. Advanced park for $250. Panoramic view monitor for $800. Traffic jam assist for $620. Carpet cargo mat for $150, side puddle lamp for $175, and finally the special color paint for $595, giving you a total MSRP of $64,045. On the outside, while I'm not entirely sold on the blunt front end, I do think the rest of this RX looks nice. Well, the color is different, but even that changes in the light. It is now based upon the GAK platform, which is 198 pounds lighter than the previous platform. This gives it a lower center of gravity while also making it more structurally sound. And while total length remains the same, the wheelbase is over two inches longer and its track is slightly wider too. Retract the rear privacy shade and you'll find an impressive 29.6 cubic feet of room behind the rear seats. Press a couple of buttons, then wait. You get a total of 46.2 cubic feet when you power fold the 60-40 split rear seats down, all of which is significantly more than last gen. There's a 12 volt outlet back there, some luggage hooks, a first aid kit, cargo tie downs, and a jack and compact spare beneath the floor.
gone is the V6, to be replaced by this dual cam 16 valve with continuously variable valve timing, 2.4 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine that makes less horsepower at 275 but more torque at 317 pound feet. It has made it to an 8 speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters that sends power to the front wheels. Drive Mode Select allows you to choose between Eco, Normal, Sport, and Custom so you can adjust the powertrain, steering, and climate. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 22 miles per gallon city, 29 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 25 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw a better than average 26.4 miles per gallon during testing on the recommended 91 octane fuel. Entry into the back seat is fairly simple thanks to the wide door opening and high seat. And while I'm talking about the seats, they power recline and are heated and cooled. The door releases remain electrically operated. There are window shades above, cup holders below, as well as your own climate control and USB-C charge ports too. Climb up front and you'll find a monotone cockpit with lots of layers and depth. Look how the fabric speaker grills contrast with the ultra suede inserts, which contrast with the contrast stitching. And the depth of the dash is aesthetically pleasing too. The seats have a pronounced yet comfortable bolstering and the leather is extremely soft. The steering wheel is nicely sculpted and it too has a leather covering that's pleasant to the touch. I like the large infotainment screen, and while there aren't a lot of physical buttons, the virtual ones are well thought out and relatively easy to use. But I do feel as though the AC vents are a bit low in the center, making it difficult to direct airflow where I like it. Other than that, I'm happy. So let's see how it drives. All right, so surprise number one is that the 350 in RX350 no longer represents the engine size. As mentioned earlier, this RX is powered by a 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder. Surprise number two is that it's surprisingly decent. Not great, but decent. Unless of course, fuel economy is important to you, then maybe it is great. You see, it's torquey, and while power may not feel as linear as the V6, it's actually a smidgen quicker. Doesn't necessarily feel that way, well, with the exception of the wheel spin you get as you accelerate out of corners, but according to Lexus, it is. And the brakes feel good too. The eight-speed auto is smooth and responsive, and the suspension is too making the ride feel a bit more engaging than previous gens of this car. A while back, I believe I made fun of the drive mode selector because it reminded me of Shrek's ears the way that it stuck out from the top of the dash. That's no longer something I can joke about because they move those controls inside of the menus. Not as readily accessible, but it's probably because RX owners never change the drive modes anyway. I rarely do in these. As you should expect, the interior is Lexus quiet with only the slightest bit of road noise coming from the front corners. And the cameras are nice and clear, even in low light situations. But the steering wheel controls do take some getting used to because they aren't labeled due to their multiple functions. They have gotten easier though, now that I've played around with them for a few days. All right, let's get this thing back and wrap up the review. So there you have it guys, the totally redesigned 2023 Lexus RX 350 Luxury. 
Lexus made this new RX more spacious, more efficient, and overall, a better driving car than before. And while there were a couple of things I complained about, it's still very well done. But now time for a serious question. Do you like vanilla or do you prefer something different? Let us know in the comments section below. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.